Hello Aquarius, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. We're going to be doing a general love reading for the wonderful sign of Aquarius. So um, use your own wisdom and discernment to place the energies where they need to be, if they need to be. Don't try to force them with my channel or any tarot reading channel. If they don't apply, let them fly. Um, I do offer personal readings and information to contact me about that, as well as links to donate to my channel if you like, um, are down in the description box below. Um, please do take a moment to like, share, and subscribe if any of this resonates with you at all. Aquarius, let's go ahead and get into this, okay? Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, show me clearly, Aquarius. Top card for Aquarius. Show me Aquarius. Show me Aquarius. we have true love all right here uh, it says that this love is once in a lifetime Wow okay so somebody's really feeling it that's an awesome energy to have for sure okay um, yeah you're feeling really good very abundant um, yeah overall just very happy all right Aquarius, this is the Love and Lust deck by Fire um, Witch Tarot. Okay, it is adult content, so if you are easily offended, I just want to give you a heads up. It's a perfect time to um, mute or fast forward. Whatever works best for you, I'm totally okay with it, alright? Um, Heavenly Father, Spirit Guides, and Angels, show me Aquarius in love. Aquarius in love. Show me clearly. Alright, show me Aquarius. What's going on for my beautiful, handsome Aquarius? what we're getting. They're getting all jumbled up. Okay, we have uh, being bound to you spiritually is one thing, but being tied up by you physically is my greatest pleasure. Okay, Aquarius. So some of you like a little bit of kink. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, this could be you or your person. And it says that your bond is about to deepen on a level where both feel the same heartbeat. This is a strong soul connection where two souls become one. Holy cow. Aquas. Right now. <laughs> Dang. I'm getting all choked up. Alright. Only Father, Spirit, Guides, and Angels. Show me Aquarius in love. Aquarius in love. Okay, show me what's up with this uh, being bound to you. You guys could know each other generationally, okay? True, like, soulmate connections. Yeah. 
I get the feeling that this is somebody that you did not even expect. Okay? It just, when you saw them, it was just like, damn. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. Yeah, okay. Freeing yourself here. It's time to take back control of your life. This has been worth waiting for here. Show me your bond. Okay, uh, yeah, releasing your ex, okay? The time has come to clear your energy. Uh, we have wedding here and retreat. You definitely enjoy time together. Somebody needs to open up and express their love here. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Um, you could be married with this person. Uh, this could be a past energy um, that you were married with or you're thinking that... Um, you're going to give it a go. Let me see. I'm going to wait on that. This deck. We're going to see. We're going to find this out. But freeing yourself. You, you've been stuck to something in the past. Like I say, I don't think you expected this person to enter your life here. Tell me clearly. Aquarius in love. Okay, what's up with my Aquarius here? What's with the free yourself? Free yourself for Aquarius. Show me clearly. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, something was not enough here. Frustrated with a relationship, uh, lacking self-confidence, uh, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. And then we have date. Okay, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there. All right, the phoenix at the bottom, rising again, the dragonfly, being lighthearted, and Cupid's arrow. Yeah, you didn't expect this person. Okay, you were in a relationship that was pretty frustrating, okay? Again, you could have been married to this person or on that same level of um, commitment. I'm getting more so that this is another person, okay? But, yeah, you were maybe separated or in a commitment already. That you needed to free yourself from because you felt like you were not enough. Uh, somebody was very frustrated here and um, this person came in, a new person that you met, dating, getting back out there. Like I say, there could be separation more so. Okay, I don't think that you were in a relationship at that time or feeling like you were, but you're still kind of bound by that person here. Um, feeling trapped, stuck. So maybe you uh, were getting a divorce or something. It doesn't have to be. But, um, yeah, feeling, feeling stuck. Show me this release your ex. But meeting someone that was just like, wow. Release your ex. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, somebody, you're interested in conversing more here. Somebody is awaiting messages to arrive, a text and email here. Um, hoovering is really sticking out to me with this, okay? And uh, that's something if you're not familiar with, you can Google. Yeah, because it's a, it's a, hoovering is a tactic that a narcissist use, and at the bottom of the deck, eh, empath narcissist, okay, being charmed or used with someone from the past. But what hoovering is basically is coming back when you're separated, because narcissists don't like that. Okay, they don't like to see you moving forward. And so they come back and they try some of the old tricks that worked in the beginning. Okay, that got you in the first place. And um, 
it's not because of love or anything like that. It's legitly for the purpose of winning, okay? Gaining that control back, all right? And so somebody could be sending messages, you know, hey, I love you, I miss you, or I, the things we used to do, it's all I can think about, that type of stuff, okay? Because we have the reminiscing and keepsake, okay? Perception, learn from the past, okay? Make memories, yeah. Yeah, somebody is being strategic. It says to take a chance. There was a sudden change with the lightning here. Um, this could be a, a addiction. This could be um, obsession, controlling. Um, what's sticking out most for me is the possession. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what we get. What more information? Yeah, because I think you're kind of trying to move forward. Probably very cautious, very afraid to do so at first, but you can't deny this connection. Okay, you just can't. Um, and there's some unfinished business here to deal with from the past. Show me clearly, Aquarius in love. But you're working really hard to move forward, to get things finalized, to heal. Okay? To heal. Show me Aquarius in love. Show me this free yourself. What's with this free yourself? Actually, I'm going to move these up here. Okay. Ah. Free yourself. Yeah, the Empress. Okay, somebody's glowing up, working uh, forward. You could have met an Empress. Yes, the Knight of Cups moving forward in love. Okay, having a good time. The Three of Cups here. And the Nine of Cups, you're working for your happiness. You could have been out having fun uh, with friends and that. And yeah, this person walked by and you're like, whoa. <laughs> whoa, that's my happiness. Okay, but there's something that's holding you back here. Uh, it could be the mother of your children. Someone that you once saw as an empress. Okay. Show me this being bound to you spiritually. Let me see. This definitely could have been a soulmate connection from the past. And that doesn't mean it's a forever person. A soulmate is somebody that comes in and teaches us something, okay? Doesn't mean it lasts a lifetime. It can for some. Yeah, in divine time, the balance is coming. Yeah, moving forward. Six of Swords. Queen of Wands. Ten of Cups, finding your happiness, uh, possibly with another fire sign, or just being, you know, somebody who you see as incredibly beautiful, um, handsome, very attractive, very determined. Uh, show me self, or excuse me, <laughs> show me, uh, release your ex. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're healing. You're working on yourself. You could have been together for a long time. But this is working to heal yourself, to move forward. There's a door here, an opportunity with this Judgment card. And you, you can go through. You can follow. You can stay in the dark side here. Okay, it's a little darker than where the sun is through the entranceway. Um, you know your path. Okay, you know which way you were supposed to go, but there's something that has you looking back still. Okay, something has you looking back still. Yeah, a commitment that you um, needed to heal from, you needed to make a choice from, and the clarity is coming. The clarity is coming with this Nine of Pentacles here. You could be choosing to be single. 
Okay. Your bond is about to deepen. What's up with that? The Six of Swords, yeah, because you're moving forward out of the chaos, taking a leap of faith. Yeah, for a Two of Cups, it's been something you've been dealing with for a while, but you've been hurting yourself being held back, okay? You've been hurting yourself looking at the past versus looking forward here, okay? See the difference with these two cards? been a long time looking back at the past but now it's, it's moving forward towards that happiness okay yeah towards a victory six of wands towards healing there you are healing from the past you learned lessons here okay you learned lessons it took a while but you know now what it is you want you're getting like everything and now taking action towards this okay Heavenly Father, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, show me clearly. Aquarius in love, clarify the cards before me for Aquarius. Clarify the cards before me for Aquarius. Tell me about this Empress, please. Tell me about this Empress. Yeah, there's conflict here with this empress, fighting, bullshit, rumors, um, you know, there's definitely passion here, but there's arguments, five of wands, yeah, over equal give and take, over love here, um, empress, yeah, leaving you out in the cold, feeling abandoned, lacking, Okay, this is not typical Empress energy. And the Wheel of Fortune changed, okay? You started working on yourself here and moving forward in love, healing, self-love here. This is not typical Empress energy at all. Just take a look at this Empress, okay? I'm going to tell you, uh, she looks exhausted from entertaining others, <laughs> okay? Doesn't have to be. I'm just saying that's for somebody. I got that. Um, show me this Knight of Cups. Taking action to love yourself. Moving away from this. Okay. Yeah, to the Two of Cups. You may be felt that this person was a tight connection, but the divine is bringing in what you have been manifesting, what you want. That Ten of Pentacles, you're moving towards this, okay? You didn't expect to meet this person here, all right? But you got the clarity and your world changed. You feel really good right now, Aquarius. You feel really good ending these burdens, okay? Ending that heavy energy because you did not deserve it okay you did not deserve to be juggled some of you all right show me this three of cups that could definitely be third party energy here and you're kind of just blown away you, this you know for those of you aquarius whose partner spouse whatever um may have cheated on you it rocked your world down to the core you took it to heart as something wrong with you not being enough okay um lacking self-confidence you know cha it changed who you were because you were invested good or bad you were invested yeah, and it's time to forgive yourself for that. That was nothing that was within your control. Um, it, we are all put on this earth with the gift of free will, okay? We all have choices. 
this had nothing to do with you. Not to that point. I'm not saying you were 100% innocent. No one is. But their choices to do what happened, or yours, you, you take it how it resonates, okay? Um, forgiving and learning, I think, definitely. You gotta let it go. Three of Cups. Yeah, the world. This changed your world. An ending for a new beginning. In divine time, you're going to receive this balance. There's something special coming in for you here. Look at the sun right at the bottom of this. Can you see this? Okay, this is a big change. We got the moon and we got the sun shining through there. Actually, it kind of looks like a star. Okay, your energy. You're getting that balance. Okay. Yeah, King of Swords. Yeah, it's you. Okay, you're getting that balance. You're determined. You're a little shut off. You're a little shut off because you're healing. All right? It's because you're healing from what you thought was love here and your happiness. Now, you're moving forward here. You met someone new uh, getting back out there and... Uh, you were not ready for who it is you met, okay? You were not ready. Show me this Nine of Cups. You haven't experienced this energy before. Yeah, the star, that healing coming in. Uh, but here you are trapped in your thoughts. Because of the devastation, because of the hurt in the past, which you need to free yourself from here, you're stuck. You're afraid. There ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? You take the time that you need to do this because you are healing. You are trying. That balance is coming in. Spirit is working with you, okay? Nine of Cups. Yeah, you will be taking action here. Somebody is coming in. But you're, yeah, this Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment, everything you've ever wanted is coming in towards you. But you're a little standoffish from that past. You're a little stubborn with this. I don't know. I don't know. And that's because you feel that there's more information that needs to be learned here. That there's secrets here. You're, it, it's... I'm not a doctor and I'm not saying you have this, but it is similar to PTSD, okay, with our soldiers fighting, okay, they come back, male, female, whatever, and some of them, after being in war and experiencing that, they don't handle the celebration of the 4th of July very well, okay, it's, it's like that, you are, I'm hearing gun shy, okay, you've been traumatized back here. You've been traumatized back here, and it's time to let that go. Easier said than done, okay? And I totally, my heart goes out to you for this, okay? But spirit is working with you, okay? To bring about that healing, to get you to stand in your power here, to go within and find your path and seek more information so that you can move forward here. Show me this temperance. The Ten of Cups in divine time. This happily ever after is coming through with justice. What it is that you deserve because you have the strength to move forward. Okay. After all the wounding, after all the guarding and the walls going up, you, you can do this. It's here for you. Okay. But you're gaining more information. You're watching. Also, this is somebody from the past watching you move forward down your path. The way spirit is leading and they're waiting. They're waiting, this ending that's coming, so that they can rush in. They're waiting for this to not work for you, okay? This, this past energy is nasty, okay? This past energy is um, incredibly toxic. 
and I believe that you really need to Google Hoovering, a narcissistic tactic. Okay? Because this person, yeah, this person is nasty. Okay? This person was, uh, is very strategic here. Okay, they're not, there's, there's probably no communication right now because this person is gaining information. They're watching you heal yourself and move forward here. Okay, out of balance. Yeah, this person is obsessed with you. Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Aquarius, you might even want to check out Leo's reading. Very similar energy, okay? There might be more information there. You could have Leo in your chart. You could be dealing with a Leo, have dealt with a Leo. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, Spirit is working to help you. This is the Hierophant working to help you heal. You could have been married for a long time, some of you, okay, or in that commitment for a long time. All right, yeah, there's there's an opportunity here to move forward to something incredibly abundant, uh, like Spirit is handing you a gift, okay, and it's huge. Yeah, somebody's coming in for you or you're going after someone else, the chariot. You could be physically relocating, some of you. You could have physically relocated, um, but somebody's coming back here. This pentacle, yeah, your person is coming back. Your past person is coming back. They've been watching you. But uh, this is not an Eight of Cups. Or Ace of Cups. Eight of Cups. This is not an Ace of Cups. This has to do with finances. This is usually an incredibly beautiful card. Alright. But with, with these cards that are around it. I'm not getting that. Some of you could be divorcing, okay? Justice is here, Libra energy. <sighs> yeah, spirit is, is trying to get you to continue moving forward to a victory. They've, they've created the opportunity here, but there is something that is holding you back from walking forward to your happiness. Yeah, it takes work. That's not full on sun through that gate, but it's a whole lot brighter than this side. Okay? And you keep looking back at there. There's something here. You even know where your path is. Hierophant. Uh, excuse me, Hierophant. I was looking at the Hierophant. Hermit energy. Okay? Could be dealing with Earth sign Virgo. Don't have to be. The signs don't really matter. Everybody can take on any. Alright, it's the energy, so feel the energy. Judgment. The death card. Ooh, an ending for a new beginning. Yeah, being juggled here, getting your balance, making a decision between two. But looking at the past and the regret, you're going to get clarity here. You're putting in the work, okay? Somebody's a little defensive here uh, when it comes to talking commitment, but um, yeah, something is ending here. There's closure coming to a situation for some of you, okay? Show me the Six of Swords. This person knows just what to say to you. This person, I mean, seriously, okay, we need, they want me to stop, oh, here's my phone. They want me to stop here and read this to you. Um,
narcissistic hoovering. What is hoovering in relationships? Okay. Um, picture this. You're doing your best to move on after a bad breakup. One day you get a notification on your phone. There's a sinking pit in your stomach when you see it's your ex. It could be deceptively innocuous like asking for the name of an Indian restaurant you went to together or requesting another conversation for closure so that they can finally close the door okay no matter what the message is uh, it, it it's clear that you're on their mind they're thinking of you they miss you in some capacity you feel a cold wave of anxiety wash over you as your mind spins over what you should do next you don't want to respond but you still feel responsible for their emotions plus maybe they've changed and the conversation might be different sound familiar if you find yourself repeating another vicious cycle with your ex after they've reached out, you've just been hoovered. Okay, um, this is a really good article. Okay, uh, some of the ways they can do this, common signs of hoovering is ghosting and then contacting you out of the blue. You haven't heard from them hey just thinking about you and the memories or hey I'm back at our favorite dinner spot or do you remember when we celebrated your birthday here things like that it's lazy communication at best and used only to grab your attention not to make amends the second sign is being overly apologetic and attempting to convince you that they've changed I'm so sorry and I want to do better. I'm getting professional help and I'm ready to be the person you've always wanted me to be. It's tempting, but the best apology is changed behavior, which is demonstrated over time. Showering a person with gifts is number three. Okay. Um, they are lavishing you with attention, presents, little tokens of affection. It may feel great at receiving to be on the receiving end of this care, but this behavior is also known as love bombing. Okay, true connection is about a slow build of quiet moments through grand gestures and big statements. Okay. Number four, needing to know where their partner is at all times. Okay, we saw that, that spying, they're watching you. Okay, they crave control and can project it onto you. They might show up at your favorite coffee shop or casual walk by. Um, they want to know if you're going to X event um, because they might be there. Protect your time and space by not getting involved. Five, spreading lies about a partner to instigate a response. There's a rumor going around that your mutual circle of friends that you are callously that you callously broke their heart, you destroyed them, that you have a personality disorder, etc. Beware of any black and white stories that paint you as the villain and them the victim. Okay, you can't control what someone will say about you, but you can choose how you feel about it. Gaslighting is number six. Uh, sorry, somebody needs to hear this. Uh, I gave the relationship everything I had. You don't appreciate my efforts. I can't believe you don't remember how hard I worked for us. You're too sensitive. I didn't treat you that badly. I did the best I could. Okay, trust your gut instincts um, through the hidden nature of these messages. Number seven, threatening self-harm. If you don't respond back to me, I'm going to hurt myself. Okay, um, if they keep telling you they will hurt themselves, immediately contact their family or emergency services so they can get the help they need. That doesn't have to be you rushing in to be the white knight. Okay. Eight, but yet you are helping them because nine times out of ten in this setting it is a threat okay eight 
unkept and or over the top promises remember the vacation you always wanted to go they want to finally take you there and you wanted to move somewhere warmer for the summer let's do it it sounds great let's let's do what you want and when they, they ignored it the whole rest of the time nine uh, displaced pronouncements of undying love you're my soulmate. I can't live without you. It's been you and always been you. It sounds like a picture perfect fairy tale coming true, but don't get swept away by the romanticism of what is used of what used to be. Anchor yourself in the reality of the relationship and the experiences that you went through. Okay? Um here there's this is just a great article there's a lot more I read what I was guided to read here but it's called what is hoovering in relationships how to spot this narcissist behavior okay so I highly recommend somebody here that I am picking up on needs to hear this okay needs to hear this because it keeps you stuck looking in the past something that needs to end something that was not fair you were juggled okay uh, six of swords yeah the eight of cups walk away find your happiness okay there's a victory here it's scary and you're very anxious about it okay you're probably not sleeping well in that but a victory is here this could be them too all trapped in their thoughts because you walked away and are now being victorious okay show me this fool card yeah knight of wands taking action towards love towards passion they're watching you they're watching you move forward yeah and being happily stable sing how dare you Aquarius move on from that narcissistic past experience and be doing good having stability taking care of yourself nurturing yourself all of that okay I mean that's how they're saying it how dare they how dare they what's this two of cups okay Two of Cups is um, a divine connection, however, it's also a choice. Yeah, the Hermit, you need to go within, okay? Really work on yourself healing here because there's a decision you need to make after heartbreak. One of them uh, is the direction you need to go and one of them is right back to the same old, same old, okay? Seven of Pentacles. You've been struggling with this for a while and look who it hurts look who it hurts that you know darkness from also represents past okay and you're holding beautiful red shoes in your hand somebody's you know red passion you could somebody could like red shoes that could be significant for someone all right flying solo there when it comes to love all right it's hurting yourself you need to open up there's a whole world out there okay but you've been keeping your heart closed off for a long time and it's doing nothing but hurt you you need to listen to that intuition up there in that crown okay you have desires and passions what are they yeah you're learning from the past what you want what you don't want okay you keep looking back over your shoulder at that hurting yourself Okay. Yeah, six of pentacles. You're finally getting balance. You've learned. Look at those scales. The six of uh, pentacles, you know, people have their hands out. Somebody is coming back, like I said, with this um, connection here for this pentacle. Uh with the release your ex and stuff like that I get that somebody could be coming in for some of you not for all of you for some of you this is spirit getting you to move forward in a new opportunity towards victory okay for others this is kind of almost like a warning like why are they coming back for money somebody's coming back 
for money here. It needs to stop. They've been juggling you and this is all you can remember. So you take it how it resonates for you, but that's the message I'm getting. Everybody's story is different. But those scales are finely balanced. What you give is what you are getting back. Okay? You need to pay attention to that energy. Yeah, because somebody is holding on. Somebody, Somebody's coming back with their hand out from the past. And it's just, you know, am I going to keep hurting myself with this past person? Somebody from the past is coming back because they cannot let go of you. They can't let go of you. They have their hand out. Give me more. Give me, give me, give me. Okay, and those are not cups. Those are not emotions. That's coin. Okay, this past person here. And you've been dealing with them for a long time. It's time to move forward out of that chaos into the unknown, smoother waters. Yeah, take an action, express your love. Okay. All right, there's a victory here. You're getting clarity, truth to the situation, and that ship is coming in for you. All right, there's that happiness, that nine of cups, that clarity, the sun card. Okay, overall happiness. Look at this passionate new beginnings. Okay, because you chose your divine path. It's a decision. Do I move and stay with this devastation? Okay, or do I move forward and create something new and wonderful? All right, and have true love. Okay, let's see what else we got for you. Heavenly Father, Spirit, guides, and angels, show me the hidden truth. Show me the hidden truth for Aquarius and love. Yeah, look at this. Six of Swords, Six of Wands. Moving on brings about victory. Brings about healing and blessings and hopefulness again, okay? Because I feel that you've been feeling pretty hopeless back here. You took this on as your fault. You filled yourself with anger and hurt. You, they helped you. It was because of their actions, but you took it upon yourself as something wrong with you on some energetic level. Show me the hidden truth for Aquarius and love. I can't do this. We don't share the same values. I feel the sexual tension. Yeah, you you enjoyed the kink. Yeah, I won't let you down. I trusted you. They said, oh, yeah, they're going to try and come back here. You trusted them. And they're like, I won't let you down again. I've changed. Just like those cards said. All right, just like that... Uh, that hoovering. I'm getting hoovering for you guys big time. Guys, gals, whatever. That was non-sex based, okay? You, Aquarius, hoovering is, is coming in huge for you. We don't share the same values. You are growing. Yeah, you remember the good times. Yeah, you look back. Okay, that's part of the hoovering. Okay, yeah. You're with somebody new here. You're moving forward here with somebody new. This person is coming back for money. For some of you, they're coming back strictly for money. I want you back. I'm not financially stable. That's not your energy. I don't know what you want. Huh? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> Sorry. I just snuck out there. <laughs> All right, let me see here. Let's get some Angel Oracle and call this good. I think the message has been heard here. 
Heavenly Father, Spirit, guides, and angels, show me clearly. Most high message for Aquarius and love. Any further messages and or advice? Yeah, you got true love, the real deal. You've met someone here you did not plan on. It's the real deal. It's to show you what love truly is. It's what the divine is working on for you. Okay? They have this here. They brought this person in right here. Meeting someone new. This is your in there's temperance on the bottom. You've been through so much that in divine time, you're going to receive the justice you deserve. This happily ever after fairy tale type relationship. Okay? Where you get the naughty and the nice. Where you get the, you get, you know, it's, again, nothing is ever perfect. Okay? But you enjoy time with this person. Okay? You enjoy time with this person. Express your love. You know, it's safe with this person. It is safe for you to love this person. Okay? You got to forgive and learn from the past. Okay? Forgiving doesn't mean that what they... Uh, what they did was okay. That you have to... That you're accepting it or putting yourself back in that same situation. It's so that you can um, acknowledge it. Mourn it. Release it. And move forward. It's for you, not them. Any further messages and or advice for Aquarius and love? Yeah, there's something better. There's something better here. Don't, don't stop. They wanted me to show you that. Don't stop this. Don't stop moving forward, okay? Yeah, again, don't stop. success if you believe right here you're having trouble believing you're stubborn you're focused on that shit not happening again okay yeah it's up to you Aquarius it's up to you you're in recovery do you want if you so choose to recover to learn to heal and to grow all right be assertive about it, okay? Be, be assertive about it. And when they come back to you, reconsider it. Huh. Reconsider, don't, I mean, like, you know, reconsider everything. Remember everything. And um, I'm not saying, you, you got to do you. You got to do what's right. Nobody can control someone's free will. If this lesson has not been learned, okay? Uh, then, you know, you go back. If that's where you feel your happiness is, go back. Okay? But if uh, you want this kind of stuff, <laughs> if you want this kind of stuff, you know, um, you're going to move forward. Okay? You're going to move forward because Spirit's trying to get you to recognize. And if you want more of this kind of stuff... then go back. Everybody's got a choice. All right? Read up about hoovering, okay? Seriously, that's the main message uh, that I get from this. Pay attention to it. Learn from it, okay? Because there's victory for you when you move ahead out of the chaos. When you work on healing, when you want something better, okay, when you recognize that uh, you do deserve better, all right? Um, for some of you, again, don't forget to check out the Leo reading. Uh, it was very similar. You could be, um, again, uh, gaining more information from that reading as well. And Aquarius, if this resonated at all, please do like, share, subscribe. Okay, true love is here. 
okay? This love is once in a lifetime, all right? Spirit's trying to get you to see that. So, all right, Aquarius, love and light to you. Take care. Bye-bye.